welcome to our second online service during this latest period of lockdown. Once more, you'll find using the order of service that's been sent to you with this YouTube clip handy to have in front of you. The order of service also contains the words to the hymns that we'll be singing a little later on. And please do feel encouraged to join in singing at home along with us. For anyone accessing this clip from outside the parish, the order of service can be downloaded from our parish website, www.allsaintsnewtown.org.au. So let's now prepare to celebrate together these sacred mysteries on this ninth Sunday after Pentecost. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We bow our heads and we say together, Almighty God, God to whom all hearts serve, all, all desires known, and, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Jesus said, This is the great and first commandment, and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. And so let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, confident in God's forgiveness. Merciful God, our Maker and our Judge, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us. Strengthen us to love and obey you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to him in faith, pardon you and set you free from all your sins, strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We say together the Gloria. Glory, Glory to God, God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Collect Prayer. Let us pray. Gracious God, you have placed within the hearts of all your children a longing for your word and a hunger for your truth. Grant that, believing in the one whom you have sent, we may know him to be the true bread of heaven and the food of eternal life, Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be glory and honour forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We now hear our scripture readings. A reading from the second book of Samuel. In the spring of the year, the time when kings go out to battle, David sent Joab with his officers 
and all Israel with him. They ravaged the Ammonites and besieged Rabbah. But David remained at Jerusalem. It happened late one afternoon when David rose from his couch and was walking about on the roof of the king's house that he saw from the roof a woman bathing. The woman was very beautiful. David sent someone to inquire about the woman. It was reported, this is Bathsheba, daughter of Eliam, the wife of Uriah the Hittite. So David sent messengers to her and she came to him and he lay with her. Now she was purifying herself after her period. Then she returned to her house. The woman conceived and she sent and told David, I am pregnant. So David sent word to Joab, send me Uriah the Hittite. And Joab sent Uriah to David. When Uriah came to him, David asked how Joab and the people fared and how the war was going. Then David said to Uriah, go down to your house and wash your feet. Uriah went out of the king's house and there followed him a present from the king. But Uriah slept at the entrance of the king's house with all the servants of his lord and did not go down to his house. When they told David Uriah did not go down to his house, David said to Uriah, you have just come from a journey. Why did you not go down to your house? Uriah said to David, the ark and Israel and Judah remain in booths and my lord Joab and the servants of my lord are camping in the open field. Shall I then go to my house to eat and to drink and to lie with my wife? As you live and as your soul lives, I will not do such a thing. Then David said to Uriah, Remain here today also, and tomorrow I will send you back. So Uriah, Uriah, so Uriah remained in Jerusalem that day. On the next day, David invited him to eat and drink in his presence and made him drunk. And in the evening, he went out to lie on his couch with the servants of his Lord, but he did not go down to his house. In the morning, David wrote a letter to Joab and sent it by the hand of Uriah. In the letter he wrote, set Uriah in the forefront of the hardest fighting and then draw back from him so that he may be struck down and die. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, Have they no knowledge, all those evildoers who eat up my people like bread? Have they no knowledge, all those evildoers who eat up my people like bread? The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. All are corrupt and commit abominable acts. There is none who does any good. The Lord looks down from heaven upon us all to see if there is any who is wise, if there is one who seeks after God. Have, have they no knowledge, knowledge, all those people do us, who eat up my people like bread? Everyone has proved faithless, all alike have turned bad. There is none who does good, no, not one. Have they no knowledge, all those evildoers who eat up my people like bread and do not call upon the Lord? Have, Have they, they no knowledge, knowledge all those evildoers who, who eat, eat up my people like bread? See how they tremble with fear, because God is in the company of the righteous. Their aim is to confound the plans of the afflicted, but the Lord is their refuge. Oh, that Israel's deliverance would come out of Zion when the Lord restores the fortunes of his people. Jacob will rejoice and Israel be glad. 
Have and they no knowledge of all those evil doers who eat up my people like bread. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy second reading is from Ephesians chapter 3 verses 14 to 21 a reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians I bow my knees before the father from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name I pray that according to the riches of his glory he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with power through his spirit and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith as you are being rooted and grounded in love. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him, by the power at work within us, is able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we can ask or imagine. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations, forever and ever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia, a great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near. When he took up, when he looked up and saw a large crowd coming towards him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Six months' wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to Jesus, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. What are they among so many people? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now, there was a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down about 5,000 in all. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were satisfied, he told his disciples, gather up the fragments left over, so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten, they filled twelve baskets. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, This is indeed the prophet who is come into the world. When Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. When evening came, his disciples went down to the lake, got into a boat, and started across the lake to Capernaum. It was now dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The lake became rough because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the lake and coming near the boat, and they were terrified. But he said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. 
Then they wanted to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the land toward which they were going. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, you, to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The sermon for this service can be viewed on a separate YouTube clip. We're going to continue our service now with the Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, and he became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Continue now with our intercessions. God, our Creator, we give you thanks that you disclose yourself to us in all the mysteries of your creation. We pray for your beautiful, broken world, for all who live in places of war, disease, degradation or famine, for leaders of nations and for all who work to alleviate the misery of others. As you fed your people of old, feed today your people who hunger for food, for security, for wisdom, justice and peace. Loving God, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. God, our Redeemer, we give you thanks that you come to us in the first person of Jesus, feeding us with your body and blood. We pray for your church, for those who eat at your table and those excluded from your fellowship, for the people of this parish and for all who minister here in your name. As you fed your people of old, feed today your people who hunger to know your good news of forgiveness and grace. Loving God, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. God, our companion, we give you thanks that you come to us in the joy of human relationships. We pray for all with whom we share our lives, for our families, our friends, and those with whom we work and play. For the people of this community, for the homeless and the unemployed. As you fed your people of old, feed today your people who hunger for dignity, acceptance and love. 
loving God, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. God, our healer, we give you thanks that you come to us in the dark and lonely places of our lives. We pray for all in trouble or distress, for the friendless and unwanted and those who mourn the loss of loved ones, for those whose bodies ache, whose minds are confused, whose spirits are sad. We pray for the sick and the dying and for all who minister to them. As you fed your people of old, feed today your people who hunger for hope and healing, comfort and consolation. Loving God, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. God our lover, we give you thanks that in life and in death you hold us in your embrace. We give you thanks for all who have loved and followed you. As you fed your faithful people of old, feed us today who hunger for your presence and at our lives end bring us with all your saints to eat at your heavenly table. Loving God, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We now come to the peace. Christ has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace be with you at home. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. We're going to continue now with our first hymn, Lord Jesus Christ, you have come to us. Please do join in and sing with us at home.
you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have these gifts to share, accept and use our offerings for your glory and for the service of your kingdom. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And, and also, also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift up them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. All glory and honour be yours always and everywhere, mighty Creator, ever-living God. We give you thanks and praise for our Saviour Jesus Christ, who by the power of your Spirit was born of Mary and lived as one of us. By his death on the cross and rising to new life, he offered the one true sacrifice for sin and obtained an eternal deliverance for his people. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Merciful God, we thank you for these gifts of your creation, this bread and wine, and we pray that by your word and Holy Spirit, we who eat and drink them may be partakers of Christ's body and blood. On the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, and when he had given you thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup, and again, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore we do as our Saviour has commanded, his proclaiming his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again, we celebrate with this bread and this cup his one perfect and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. Renew us by your Holy Spirit, unite us in the body of your Son, and bring us with all your people into the joy of your eternal kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom and in whom, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father, in songs of never-ending praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power are yours forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are confident to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ, we who are many are one body, for we all, all share in the one brain. brain. And so come, let us take this holy sacrament of the body and blood of Christ in remembrance that he died for us, and feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
those of you at home, um, this is the time now for you to say with me the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Gracious God, we thank you that in this sacrament you assure us of your goodness and love. Accept our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving and help us to grow in love and obedience that we may serve you in the world and finally be brought to that table where all your saints feast with you forever. Father, we, we offer, offer ourselves, ourselves to you as a living sacrifice. sacrifice. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work for your praise and glory. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Let's sing our final hymn now, Lord, your almighty word.
to love and serve the Lord. In the name, in the name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.